All right. Now we have another special treat for you. In the house is all-star MVP Liz Gorman of the Lingerie Football League. Now this girl, let me tell you about this girl. This girl is not only the most talented, most stunningly beautiful, skillfully graceful athlete that has ever played the game, she is a dear good friend of mine and she is one of the most amazing individuals I have ever met. She's here to tell you about not only her amazing career in the Lingerie Football League where she runs things, but she's also here to tell you about her nonprofit organization. So everybody give a big round of applause for Liz Gorman! Hey, hey, hey. Thanks, Devin. I owe him a couple beers for that one. Um, I just want to say thank you for having me here. Um, I started my nonprofit pretty much because I played sports my whole life. I don't know if you guys have. At some point or other, you've been a part of a team, and you know about how much responsibility it is, and it just teaches you so many values and morals. Um, I started mentoring some of the kids locally, and I really, really wanted to get more engaged in it. So I started doing teams, maybe flag football, some pickup games, and then started training kids. Um, I have my own training system. It's called Hybrid Fit. Uh, my own company is called H Squared. I am hybrid, and the whole point of hybrid is it's a mixing of elements. So I started telling these kids it's not what you have, but it's who you want to be. So no matter where you are, what you're doing, you know, what you have, obviously it's a universal thing with sports. It's leveling the playing field. Everybody can do it. So I wanted to go ahead and start my own nonprofit, and and obviously starting a nonprofit you know, you got to start somewhere, right? So it's kind of like the development of the development. I'm really getting it out there and trying to find people that are passionate about helping kids. And I'm using sports really to have a year-round training system for these children and say there's a way to be healthy and happy. And that's my nonprofit. It is H Squared Health and Happiness. And what we do is we use a year-long training system to teach these kids, you know, the fundamentals and everything involved with being healthy, which is exercise, nutrition, and then we go ahead and we go above that and we say, you know, football, basketball, whatever sport you have, you know, we're gonna train you in that specific area. And pretty much it's teaching these kids, especially in the foster care system, or maybe some underprivileged children, um, really just how responsibility, mentoring, and just the support of the community. I have a couple programs I have set up. Um, we're really trying to put together, it's adopt a pet, adopt a charity, and especially adopt a military. And it's where these kids can count on not only other people to support them, but really the community to come out and say, you know what, we're gonna help you and these kids are gonna come back and help them. So adopt a pet, they'll go out and walk the dogs or you know feed the cats. Adopt a charity, maybe go to the Cancer Society and do an event, or adopt a military. And obviously, when we're here today, you know, I want to take a second, if everybody can stand and just give applause to the men and women that not only served, but serve our country. I have several family members, and I just want to say that's why we're here today. And just really to show respect, and that's ultimately, you know, if you had a family member or you, sh you know, serve right now, the fact is, is they're leaders. And everything they went through, it's teaching responsibility. And I want these children and youth to see this is what you can become. And you can become a leader and be a positive influence on your community, but, you know, just people around you. So pretty much that's what I'm doing. Uh, over there, there's a 10. If you want to find out more information, you can look in the brochure. But like I said, it's developing. And, you know, it's not about money. It's not about anything like that. It's about finding people that obviously have a passion for helping other people and really want to develop youth that want to be leaders. And especially with Adopt a Military, they'll be able to see people as an example and have that social responsibility to say, if you help me, this is what I'm going to do. So when they're older, we're giving them the tools to be like, you need to go back and teach the youth coming up what you learn. So that's pretty much my spiel. <laughs> but I really hope you guys can get involved and just find out. And locally, obviously, we want to get community involved. And we're going to start doing summer camps and getting your kids involved. And obviously, if you want to sponsor youth or anything else, just let me know what you do, your business, whatever it is. There's some way that you can help be an example to some of the youth in our community. So thank you so much for having me. And again, go ahead and visit the booth if you want to see anything. Thanks, guys.
say hi? You want to give a shout out to your mom?